I've been playing a lot of PC games lately that I can't exactly play with a controller or, you know, that don't work very well with a controller in my opinion. And I don't play with the mouse and keyboard very much because it, it kind of hurts my hands. I especially, especially my right hand, because if you can see here where it is kind of bowed there instead of coming out like the rest of the knuckles, I have broken that hand twice, uh, both of which on the, on the bone, the pinky bone right here. Neither time did it really heal well. So that makes holding a mouse for extended periods of time kind of a chore for me, uh, especially if I'm going to be holding my hand in one set position for a long time. But I figured, hey, maybe getting a different mouse would, would help with that. <sighs> I never have to yawn until I need to do a lot of talking. Then suddenly it's like, bam, all of the yawns. So I scoured Amazon and started looking for a, a mouse that I could use. Now, I had a few criteria. Uh, one, it would have to be large enough for my hands uh, because my mouse at the house, the house of mouse, was it's not very large and I always have to do like a claw grip on it in order to, ow in order to use it effectively and it's kind of uh it's kind of uncomfortable to be in with and kind of unpleasant i mean look at these hands they're huge i use them to build walls so there's that uh, it also needed to be wireless because i wanted to have something that i could game with on my desktop and i could game with slash video edit at work since the trackpad on my laptop isn't my very favorite of things. Other than that, uh, DPI settings would be nice, but the biggest thing for me are comfort and tracking. I wanted to make sure that it could track well and that it was very comfortable in the hand. And the third criteria that I needed was that it had to be cost effective. Uh, you know, if I'm just trying this out and I'm trying to get my hands used to using mouse and keyboard, I really don't want to go paying $150 for a mouse or something ridiculous like that. So I went on Amazon and I read some reviews and I looked at a few different models and I finally came up with this. The Red Dragon M652 Optical or I think on its, I think it's called the Red Dragon Nirvana. Will this mouse allow me to play with mouse and keyboard and switch over from the tyranny of controller. We'll get to that in a moment. So here's my review of the M652. So it come, it came in uh, just a couple of days with Amazon Prime. I have the Amazon page up here. I, it's, <clears throat> it's Red Dragon, which as far as I can tell is like a cheaper kind of knockoff of MSI, but don't quote me on that. Uh, this mouse has a 4 out of 5 star rating with 307 reviews, so I figured, hey, you know, maybe it would do well for the price point. And that leads me to my next point. This mouse was only 13 bucks plus shipping, which is ridiculously cheap. I also looked on the Amazon page, and one of the things that's nice about this mouse as opposed to some of the other ones that I've seen, is that this mouse actually gives you specifications for how big it is. So this thing is 66 millimeters wide from here to here at widest points. It is 40.6 millimeters tall from here to here. And, or I guess high, so that would be the height. And then the length, it is 130 millimeters from here to here. That makes it very comfortable in my hand. Of course, your mileage may vary if you have smaller or larger hands than I do. <laughs> Yo, wolf rat. I also read a bunch of the reviews about does it track well and uh, does do the does the DPI button work, etc. The overwhelming majority say that it do or it does, and this is a pretty decent mouse. This thing, the button on top here, lets you adjust the DPI level, and it has two buttons on the side. Just forward and back. The scroll bar also lights up along with the red dragon on the back. Or the scroll wheel feels really good. 
Nice tactile click, rolls really smoothly with decent divisions. I do wish you could switch through the DPIs faster, not that I use that feature a lot, but it'll tell you how many DPI you're at by how many times the scroll bar blinks when you click on it. It goes from one level, which is 800 DPI, to five, which is 2400, and it'll blink once, twice, thrice, etc. As previously mentioned, this mouse does feel good in the hand. It's got this textured bit on the side, which on my other mouse, I wasn't a huge fan of because it had the honeycomb texture, but it was like inset and it was just horrible for trapping fingery. Something really, really bad. This one over the month or so that I've had it hasn't had that issue. One complaint that I I do have that I suspect not a lot of other people have is the finish on the actual mouse itself. I would like something a little more matte or maybe even textured as opposed to this like smooth satin finish. It's horrible for picking up fingerprints on the mouse, which is something that I'm not necessarily used to, and especially when your hand lays on it. When you take your hand away, you can see where your hand was and that kind of grosses me out, but that little issue for any for all the good things about the mouse, yes please. It also comes in a pretty neat carrying case. It's plastic, or I, I don't know that it's a carrying case as much as it is just something for shipping. It's got these four safety latches here. Pop it off. This protects your mouse in shipping, as well as your USB dongle. Oh yeah, Red Dragon calls this mouse the Nirvana wireless gaming mouse. Comes with a handy little notebook with instructions and whatever language you happen to speak. And it comes with a little red sticker. I do like the minimalist packing, or packing. And I also like the fact that it does come in this kind of protective case, which could very well help you if, I mean, it would stand to reason that if you're paying $13 for a mouse, you might be just starting out and you don't have the money for a Corsair or a Logitech and you need something to protect your mouse while you're on the go. It is a wireless mouse that's meant to be taken with you, and if you don't want to just throw it in your bag and see it get all scratched up, that's a really nice feature to have, and that's something that I haven't seen on a lot of more expensive mice. So seeing it on a $13 Red Dragon option, really nice. Like I said before, it's very comfortable in the hand. It tracks well. All of the DPI settings work. Oh, I accidentally turned it on. <laughs> Overall, this is a very good mouse. One other issue that I did have, there's no button to just turn this mouse off that I'm aware of. There is a button on the bottom here that lets you set the lights to on, off, or eco. Those are pretty nice if I don't want the gamer aesthetic and I want to just use the mouse and serve some, or save some battery life. It is really also nice that it's not split in all different places and it has RGB out the wazoo and, and everything like that. It's a really understated mouse. It, it looks like something you could have in a boardroom, but it plays like something you could have in your game. So now that I have this new mouse that's comfortable and tracks well, and that I can't speak highly enough of for 13 bucks, Am I going to change exclusively to using the mouse and keyboard as opposed to using the controller? Well, no, I'm not going to change exclusively. I still have some getting used to with using mouse and keyboard and this or having this mouse does make it so much easier in respects. I've already replaced the mouse that I ha have at my desktop and I just take this one with me from computer to computer since it's wireless. I can just plug in the dongle and go. There are still some games that I very much enjoy playing with a controller, like if I'm playing some old school Final Fantasy VII or uh, 14. I still enjoy with controller. I I wouldn't play a shooter game like Apex or Fortnite with with the controller anymore now that I have this. But it does make the playing experience so much better when I have to use a mouse and keyboard as opposed to uh, you know trying to remap the controls and then having them be all clunky like they are in Fortnite and everything like that. It just makes my life so much better. It also makes it a lot easier to video edit while I'm at work because now I have a mouse with some decent tracking as opposed to trying to fiddle around with the trackpad. So in short though, am I switching exclusively to mouse and keyboard? No. 
but I will be using the mouse and keyboard a lot more where I would have used just the controller in the past. And do I recommend this mouse? Yes, 100% based off of my experience of this one and the overwhelmingly positive reviews that I've read on the site of other people that have had this mouse. For 13 bucks, you can't go wrong. It tracks well, it's comfortable in the hand, it has multiple DPI settings, there's no lag that I can tell. If you're just starting out and you can't afford a $140 Logitech or a $40 Corsair mouse or even a $30 Black Web mouse or something like that, even though Black Web is kind of an off-brand of its own, this mouse is really good to start off with. And who knows, if you use this mouse and then you use it enough where you can justify the extra money on a, on a more expensive mouse, then that's the best way to go. I always say with the tools that I buy, I try to buy the least expensive one first and then I use it till it breaks. And then I've used it enough to justify purchasing the expensive one. And I largely kind of hold that true with a lot of electronics. A lot of electronics, you get the expensive one. Just like in with tools, if you, you know, it depends on the tool you're gonna get. If you're gonna get a torque wrench, get the good one. If you're gonna get a hand wrench, cheap works until it breaks. So there you have it guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you want, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any uh, ideas for future videos, or if you just wanna say, hey, let me know in the comment sections below, and the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, and remember, when the gears start turning, anything is possible. Mousey say bye!